Hello and welcome to a tea trunk video where I make these videos as short as possible. Okay, you may remember on my first ever tea log video that I probably said that I would show you my card collection. If you do, send a comment below. Or if not, well, you know, I'm rambling, but okay. Uh, I'm going to show you them now. I have a lot of Enterplay My Little Pony collections. For instance, I believe this one is from the Series 1 collection. As you can see, it's got your favourite characters in here, like Twilight, Rarity, Fluttershy, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and etc. And it's got other characters here as well. Upper Blue, Bikini Mark Crusaders, Shining Armor, Chili, Snips and Snails, and Sakura. Oh, and of course, Octavia! And Vinyl Scratch, or DJ Pony. Now, I believe this one is Series 2. How do I know this? Because, well, I sort of didn't know it, but <laughs> here is the checklist of Series 2. As you can see there. And again, they're the same but slightly upgraded. There you see Applejack bucking, Rarity working, making dresses, and Apple Bloom with a sort of uh, is that a dirt face that she's got? Oh no, it's it's a, it's a crazy hello face. And you got Granny Smith and Apple Rose, is it? No, you got the Garden Ponies. Rose Luck, Daisy, and I don't know who the pony with the days uh, with the flower on her head is. <laughs> That's the only one I don't know. If you do know, send a comment. We have this really cool Scootaloo one. If the camera would be off, not off focus. Scootaloo, the princesses, Trixie, Pipsqueak, Sapphire Shores, and Fancy Pants, for example. That is series two. Now, here I've got the MLP Crystal Games Collection. And I believe this series, yeah, it would be because it's the Equestria Games, Season 4. Well, Season 3 and Season 4. We have uh, main six as Breezies. See, we have Rarity, Twilight, Applejack, Fluttershy. Rainbow and Pinky as uh, salt breezies. We have the apples to the core, and we've got Rarity when she had a crush on Trenderhooves in simple ways. But Trenderhoof, as you know, happened to have a crush on Applejack, and I don't blame him. <laughs> We have Pinky with a blue flugel horn there. Yeah. Coco. If I can actually. It's not easy this. Coco. Prim hemline. And the ribbon that Rarity was given. The rainbow ribbon. Not ribbon given. After helping Coco realise that Surrey wasn't the right pony to work with. 
Here we have the main six, I think. Well, some of the main six. As crystal ponies. Uh, Twilight. Applejack. Rarity, of course. Obviously, darlings. Pinky. Shining Armor. Fluttershy. And of course we have Puppy! As a male pony! <laughs> and here is the Season 4 finale. Twilight's Kingdom. When the main six found a way, well Twilight found a way, to get all the power back, all the powers back to the ponies. Every pony, unicorn, earth pony, pegasi, to get their destiny back. We have Lyra and Bonbon. Ship. And Ashley Pony and Andrea Libman. And we have Maud. Right here. We love Maud. Yes, we do. And we have Rainbow Dash there, doing what she does best. Ten seconds flat. Okay, that's enough of the... Uh Crystal Games collection, so I'll probably drain my battery working through all this. <laughs> There's some good uh, cards in there. Here is Series 3. As we can see, uh, if I can get it, yeah, Flutterbats. We have Cheerly and Big Mac. Ooh, let the Mare Wars begin in Season 8, possibly. Doubtful, I know, but. Rarity, Twilight, and when they were cursed by the poison joke in Bridal Gossip, the, uh, the famous let's run away from King Sombra in the return of the Crystal Empire, the story of how Equestria was founded in Housewarming E. Is it? I think so. Oh yeah, that's when Twilight, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash tried to entertain the in uh, the inspector, but you know the rest. Two, four, six, eight. Ooh. In no place, that's really great. Anyway, what... I'm rambling, sorry. What is unique about this collection is as we can see here, we have things like <coughs> postcards. They look like postcards. Like, um, did you say that this was like a postcard? Greetings from Ponyville. This is a good one. Hearts as strong as horses. And the very famous impossible to sing song. A teeny tiny glass of water. By... Discord in three to crowd. In fact, I'll have one. Cheers. Plus, it's got some uh, shiny stuff in here, like rainbow, for instance. That's a shiny card, I think. Yeah, that's shiny. And Flutterbat. From Bats. That is a good episode, that. Even though I haven't watched that episode a lot, but it is a very, very good episode. And we have apparently what most ponies, bronies like. And, a spe and Andrea Libman herself. Pinky and Cheese Sandwich. It was. It was said on Twitter that Andrea Libman had a lot of fun playing with Weird Al. She said it herself. She said that he was one of the most funniest stars, most goofy stars she ever voiced with. I mean, yeah, I mean, of course, because it's Weird Al, isn't it? And also, it's got some sort of animation cards in a way. Like for instance, we have 
Applejack here in Buzzbusters. I'll do that in a different hand. And also rarity on secret of my excess. Happy birthday, Spike. Now, I've started this uh, collection a few days ago, and this collection is apparently called Marks in Time Collection. With Starlight, the evil Starlight, as the cover of it, the Marks in Time Collection. And yeah, they all look the same. But there are some different ones in here. For instance, this one. We have Evil Starlight on the Season 5 finale, QT Remap Part 1. Or it could be 2. I think it's 1. We also have Sombra again on QT Remap. Part 1, when he was in Rise in Power, when he was enslaving the uh, Crystal Ponies to fight for him. And here's a shiny card of Princess Celestia's attack on Sombra. She ordered the attack against King Sombra. She was the one who ordered the charge against King Sombra's army including the air force and which as you know saved rainbow from a big ginormous boulder and you know who those two were don't you <laughs> and finally this is the one where twilight was in the everfree forest on the changeling scene Pinky, Fluttershy and Berry Punch thought that Twilight and Spike were changelings. And for those who've seen the episode know the rest of it. Well every pony and everyone who may or may not be fans of my little pony, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, give a like, and I will end this video as I do with all my T-Log videos, and that is Bro hoof and goodbye.